Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, we're going to be going over more ACF HUD slash UI things. And in this video, I'm going to be using this new fantasy HUD warrior pack that came out by Cinti Studios. You can check my affiliate link in the description below if you want to grab a copy of this. It's 30% off right now, and I think it looks amazing. Well, thanks for watching, and let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to go over to my integrations folder if you have the ultimate sample. And you can also do this with the full sample and just head over to the HUD folder and edit your WBP underscore full HUD. But for my case, I'm going to be using WBP underscore ultimate HUD, which may have a few more things, but let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to do is actually just change my little icon. So I personally don't like this horse one. So what I'm going to do is, and in order to change the horse, I'm just going to go over to ACF HUD equip underscore WBP, click on this edit right here. And now I'll just select one of these and I will look for, so you can see that each of these are actually an ACF wheel arrow icon. So when I click on each of these, it'll show the squares appropriately. And then over here, I can click edit to go up this again. And all I want to do for this case is just change this image. So I'm going to head over to image and you're going to see everything grayed out by default. All you need to do is head over to this lock button, unlock this, and we can change the image to whatever we want. So now we can go ahead and design something like this or like this. I think I'll just do the gold ones for now, just cause, and let's go ahead and get started with that. And it has this like bluish background that we'll also insert into our diamond. And for the first box, I just need to select this SPR underscore frame box 21 variant zero one. So now I'm just going to select my button, make sure it's unchecked and under style, I'm going to open this up and change the image to that and change the image to that file name. So I'll go ahead and select that and you'll see that it changes just fine. I think the opacity is pretty low by default. Yeah, so my alpha set to 0.7. I'm going to change it to 0.1 or just 1.0. And now after selecting the image, I'm going to go down to where it says transform under render transform. I'm going to change the angle to something like 45 because we want it to be a 45 degree. And you're going to see that it's kind of going out of these bounds. So I'm just going to set the image a little smaller. And now if I go ahead and click play, you'll see that it kind of looks nice, but I also want there to be a little bit more padding. So for the padding, in order to increase the padding, I'm just going to put some padding around my image or my overlay. And let me show you how to do that. So in order to add some padding, I'm just going to select overlay here and just put something like five for the padding. And this will make it look a little smaller. But when I hit play, you'll see that these icons are now a little spaced out from each other and it looks nice on the bottom right. And in order to make your UI a bit bigger, Actually, before that, don't forget that with the image or with the size box selected, you can really change this to however you want. So for example, if you wanted them to be four columns next to each other, as opposed to four diamonds, you can of course change this to something a bit more different if you wanted to, um, such as just setting the angle of this like so, and then you just have to rotate your image and all that. So I'm just going to revert these. The default for this is 64 by 64. And you would go up to your ACF HUD equip and unlock this skill box so you can adjust this. And then you can change the size X to something like 300 and the Y to 300. And now if I were to hit compile and save and play this in game, you'll see that it is a bit bigger and more readable. But personally, I think that's a little too big. So I'm just going to change that to... So I'm just going to change that to 250 by 250. And yeah, I think that's that's pretty good. That's pretty reasonable to me. And another thing you can do if you want your image to pop out more, you can just select this image and open up and open up color and opacity and change the alpha to one. And pretty much when you hit play, your images will pop out quite a lot more just like that. So personally, I like my images to show. And one other thing I want to add is a background. So now I'm just going to add an image to my overlay here. Make sure it's above the button because I want it to be behind all of this. Whatever's closer to the bottom will be technically the most forward. So I'll leave image right here and I'll just call this something like, um, background. And now for the tint, I'm actually going to change this to, I'll change the tint of this to something like a dark blue, like so. And then I will scroll down to the angle and do something like negative 45. And for the scale, I'll do 11 on the X and 11 on the Y or for the translation, I'll do 11 on the X and Y. And then for the scale, I'll do, let's see, 1.5 on each side, like so. And this looks pretty good to me. I'm not sure if I'll keep this blue, 
but let's just check it out. So when I hit play, so when I hit play, uh, you can see the blue background. It looks fine, but I think I'll do a gradient one. So now I'm just going to select this Fantasy Warrior Gradient Vertical Solid 01. And I like how it's kind of dark on the bottom, lighter on the top. So I just need to adjust the scale. And all I did for this one is I just reset the translation to 00, zero scales 0 0.9 by 0.9, just so it doesn't hover over this border that we created. And then the shear is 00, zero and the angle is negative 45. Now I'll just hit compile and save, and that will click play. And that looks a lot smoother and more you. So now let's try to change up the HP bar, mana bar, and energy bar, and the experience bar. So let's do that. So I'll close these out because I think these look fine. Now in my WV HUD, I'm going to find my HP bar. And now let's work on the HP bar and the energy and the mana. So what I'm going to do is open up my stat bar WBP. Actually, I need to go back to my interface folder. And I'm going to drag this Fantasy Warrior bar horizontal 05 and only get this square part. I'm actually going to just get it in the middle like this and then copy paste it like this. And then I'm just going to save this into my folder and bring it to my, my game in my content browser. So now I'm just going to drag this in. I'll call this layer one like so. And I'll go back to my stat bar. And for the style background image, I'm going to look for that layer one just to give it that 3D look. And I also want to apply it to my tint. So I'll open up my tint and I'll apply it to my fill image like so. So it has a very 3D type style. So I compile save. And if you want to change the color of this, you just need to go to your graph, go to your colors by stat, and then you can set your value of the color over here on the left under details like so. And I'm just going to right click, create a widget blueprint, and I'll just create one from scratch and call it HP bar. Double click to open this up. And now I'm just going to add an overlay and I'll look for a scale box. And then in my scale box, I'm going to add that stat bar WBP. And I'm going to make sure it's just set to the health statistics as it is here, just because I'm going to be modifying my health. And then I'm just going to start adding some images. To so I'll add about four images for now, like so. And the first one at the very bottom, I'm going to, I'm actually just going to look for the heart. So something like, uh, this heart that we have over here and I'll change the image size to something a little smaller, like 64 by 64. I don't want it to be too big and I'll put a left padding of 31 and a top of 38 to bring this down and I'll just call this heart. Now I want to add a gold border of the gold diamond border. So I'm just going to call this diamond border. And then for the image, I'm going to look for frame diamond and select this one. And I'll change the size from to 128 by 128 and it'll fit the heart perfectly. And then behind this, I actually want the background shadow. So I'm just going to call this background shadow. And this will be the SPR underscore fantasy warrior underscore gem. It's going to be gem zero underground. And I'll select this one. And this fits perfectly. And now for the last image, I actually just need to look for an HP bar. So I think for this, I'll just look for my just some sort of frame. So let's go ahead and look through that. Now all I did for my Cinti HP bar was just, I just copy pasted this thing that I squared out and just extended it. And then I added that pointy part at the very end to make this in Photoshop. And then all I did for the other part was the same material we used in order to create that box. I just extended it, expanded it to fit this gold bar that I made that I also exported to be my HP bar. And then I used this polygon lasso tool to just go something like this and then click right here and then just try to align this as much as I could. Actually, I started from the middle. So like right here going outwards and then come around and then you want to go back around here and then line yourself to here. And then you can hover over the line. And as soon as you see some sort of symbol like this come on the bottom right of your cursor, it'll close and then you can hit the delete key and it'll delete the rest. Let me just deselect that. And then when I uncheck it, you'll see this pointy part. And then I exported that and then back in Unreal. All I did was go to my stat bar WBP and I changed it to that HP bar that I created. So I, that pointy one I exported was HP bar two for both the image, for fill image and background image. And then for draw as I set it to image and for draw as I need to set it to image here as well. So I'll hit compile and now when I compile this and go back to the HP bar I'm creating, you'll see that this pointy part is going to match this. So all I need to do is to scale this down. So now let's try to just fit this 
perfectly. So I'm going to click on my scale box, set the top to something like 50. I actually need to scale it down on the Y quite a bit. And now this will fit perfectly into my box without having my HP bar go over my corners like that. But I also need to scale it so my HP bar just kind of ends around here. So I need to narrow down that X axis. And now after playing around with the settings and it fits, my HP bar actually looks amazing. So I really like how this looks. And now back in my WBP HUD, I just want to try out my new HP bar. So I'm just going to look for HP bar up here, HP bar, and then I'm just going to drag this into the vertical box under my other health bar. And this is not going to function at first. And that's because in our graph, I need to go over to init, init stat bar and I need to drag that HP bar and connect this to the target like so. So now we can actually initialize our stat bar. So when I hit compile, save and test this in my game and hit play, we'll see our, oh. all right. So this took me a while for no reason. After you add this, make sure in your, in your graph on your init stat bar, we already connected this HP bar, which is fine. But in your stat bar WBP, make sure your image X size X is set to zero. I guess it really doesn't matter for the background image, but this was, so before I had it like this and it defaulted to this and it just kept it becoming a square and I didn't understand why that was happening. And you could see it kind of overlapping on the right of that progress bar that we made. And yeah, the fix to that is just set your image X on your stat bar WBP to zero like that and it will fix it. And if you want this to be a little bigger, I'm just going to select the HP bar and let's set the scale to something like 1.2 to 1.2 just to make it look a little nicer. And we can add some padding left of something like 20. And yeah, that looks good to me. So when I hit compile and save and play it, my HP bar is looking exactly how I want it to. And now it's time to adjust the stamina and mana. But let's actually do that in the next video because that's all I have time for today. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Like, subscribe, comment, what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.